Well, it looks like today then we have finally been confirmed the all new F1 Academy, preparing young female drivers for elite competition. But there seems to have been a bit of confusion uh, surrounding this, at least on Twitter anyway. From what I've gathered, a lot of people seem to believe this is a replacement to W Series. It's not actually, doesn't appear to be the case. The aim of the F1 Academy is to act as a feeder series for the high level in competition, including W Series. So I'm guessing this fits in as almost like W Series 2 in the same way that Formula 2 is to Formula 1. Now, of course, I'm, I'm male, I identify as a male, uh, so this isn't obviously designed for me or anything like that. And of course, I can only sort of speak about this uh, from a male perspective. But I actually think, again, this is quite a good idea. So for those of you that aren't aware, you can see we've got all the details currently on your screens. It's going to be launching next year. There's going to be five teams uh, with three cars per team. By the looks of it, apparently that is going to be teams already set up in Formula 2 and Formula 3. Uh, so my guess would probably be that it's going to be Prima, MP Motorsport, Campos... Uh, probably ART and someone else. Again, none of that is actually confirmed. Those are just my guesses uh, from the teams that are likely to help out with this. The driver budgets are going to be capped to €150,000, uh, but then Formula 1 are also going to contribute, uh, I think it's another €150,000 uh, to each team as well. Though. So yeah, there we go. Formula 1 are confirming to also be contributing as well. Now, like I said, a lot of people seem to believe this is a replacement to W Series. That is quite clearly not the case. Today is not going to be a deep dive into the lack of success that W Series has seen so far. But I think this is hopefully going to be a good step in the right directions. From what I gather, the cars are likely going to be Formula 4 cars. Or the standardised chassis comparable to entry level categories. That normally means Formula 4 uh, in terms of general motorsport nowadays. So it will probably be quite good in the sense that, you know, drivers that are successful can then jump up into the W Series cars, which are basically Formula 3 cars. Then they can either move to Formula 3 or maybe even move to Formula 2, uh, depending on how they get on. Now, one of the other really, really interesting things about this is the fact that they're going to have power steering as well, which, of course, you know, again, there's always these discussions about whether female drivers are going to be strong enough to compete at the pinnacle of motorsport. Of course, Formula 1 is a very, very physically intensive program. But, you know, certainly, I think in this day and age, you know, we, we've got so much science, so much data nowadays that can back it up that maybe, just maybe, you know, within, you know, even sort of the next 10, 15 years, you know, I, I wouldn't be surprised if we've already got a female that's alive uh, that will make it to Formula 1 in the future. To be honest, I can kind of understand why some people don't believe this is a great idea. Again, you know, there's always this thing about the segregation in the sport, you know, why have got a female only category and then of course the sort of male category if it was. But, you know, but I believe, you know, this is giving 15 more women opportunities inside the world of Formula 1. Of course, they'll be racing at Formula 1 Grand Prix weekends. They'll be able to get their faces in front of sponsors, things like that as well. And of course, at the end of the day, you know, it's so underfunded up to now W Series in comparison. Of course, there seemed to be a bit of confusion. W Series was never funded by Formula 1. Formula 1 never claimed to be funding it. They just allowed them to run on Formula 1 weekends. Of course, W Series, the company that has set it up, had paid. Formula 1 uh, to feature it inside their calendar in a similar way to how poor Super Cup does as well but yeah we're going to see 15 more females then in and around the Formula 1 circus I think that is in my personal opinion a good idea let me know down in the comments below sort of what your thoughts and feelings are on this as well I'm genuinely intrigued to see uh, some different perspectives on this because I think again still it's misunderstood this all new series but fingers crossed w academy you know they sorry f1 academy even i uh, can kind of learn from some of the mistakes w series has made like i said i don't think this is a replacement for w series i think w series will probably be back in 2022 uh, sorry 2023 and i do believe formula one are probably going to be funding it a whole lot more as well but yeah let me know your thoughts and feelings on this one down below and make sure you subscribe or hit follow for more